All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this um, Gears of War Judgment Lancer. Um, this is the taxi cap color scheme, and um, there's the box. Uh, it's kind of weird. Um, it comes in this shipping box, and then the foam, and the weapon. Uh, it doesn't have a separate uh, inner box for this item, uh, so that's kind of strange. I guess it's a way of uh, saving costs I guess and uh, on the box itself card number is uh, 2901 of 6000 not sure if that's the edition size or not but there it is on the front it says uh, Gears of War Judgment Lancer replica car number 13 and there's the weapon itself And uh, the length of this um, Lancer, it's about 36 inches in length. It's a pretty big piece, and uh, it is a one-to-one -one scale, I believe. And uh, let's get a closer look at some of the detailing on this thing. Mm. There's the handle that swings out. And uh, this one actually has a removable clip, just like the original. Uh, since this is a repaint of the original Lancer that came out um, when Gears of War 2 came out, I believe. <clears throat> and unlike the retro Lancer, this one has moving parts. Uh, the Mainly the removable magazine, which I'll show in a second. At first, uh, when I saw the color scheme, I was uh, pretty turned off by it because uh, this looks weird. But uh, after looking at this for a while um, and have it in hand, I actually do like it. Actually, it's quite different the color scheme, and it is a uh, taxi color, the um, <clears throat> yellow, black, and white. But uh, overall, I I do like it actually. Uh, I. At first, I thought about uh, repainting it. I figured I'll just get this mold and then repaint it to the original colors. But uh, actually, I'm going to keep it as is because uh, I do like the color scheme. And here you can see the, the handle swings out. And then you can push it back and forth as well. <clears throat> there you go. Looking through the sight. I guess when you eyeing it, it would be something like that, I guess. Pretty cool. Here's the Lancer with the pair of hands on it. And here's the handle. Slides back and forth. And to remove the magazine, basically what you need to do is slide this back, slide this forward. The magazine should come right out, like so. And to put it back, just slot it back in. This back, that back. And there you go. Pretty cool. And when you pull the trigger here, it makes a sound. It's more like a vibrating sound. It's just something that's rotating inside, that's all. It's kind of annoying, so most likely I'm not going to do that. Uh, most likely, yeah. It's not gonna get used that much. Alright, here's a size comparison between the two Lancers. First we have the Retro up on top, and the bottom is the Taxi Cap one. And uh, lengthwise, they are pretty much identical, minus the bayonet. And, uh, but uh, as far as the width, the Retro is definitely wider than the Taxi Cap Lancer. So, there. So there you go. Again, uh, this is uh, 99 bucks at uh, GameStop. Uh, you could either order this online or order it uh, at a physical store. I don't know if they have these in hand, but uh, yeah, you might have to place place an order in order to get these. But um, yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching.